Once again, good afternoon and welcome. Today, the United States Army Military District of Washington, represented by the soldiers of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, and the United States Army Band, Pershing's own, pay a special tribute to Lieutenant General Kenneth R. Dahl, Commanding General, Installation Management Command, who is retiring after 36 years of distinguished service to the United States Army and our nation. Participating in today's review, from left to right is the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, formed in 1922 by then Army Chief of Staff, General John J. Pershing. The United States Army Band is the premier band of our senior service. Pershing Zone provides musical support for ceremonies and special events in our nation's capital and throughout the United States. The United States Army Band is under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Derek Shaw and led by Drum Major Julian Ayres. Elements of the Old Guard include Echo Company, commanded by Lieutenant Mark Frankel, and led by Staff Sergeant Marcus Rogers. Next on line is Alpha Company, commanded by Captain Ryan McCullum, and led by First Sergeant Casey Dolly. Next element on line, bearing the national color, is the nation's foremost color team, the 3rd Infantry's Continental Color Guard, led by Staff Sergeant Colt Stafford. Next on line is Honor Guard Company, commanded by Captain Kevin Doherty, and led by Staff Sergeant Alexander Deal. Following is the Commander in Chief's Guard, patterned after the unit created by General George Washington in 1776 to be his personal guard. The Commander in Chief's Guard is commanded by Captain Zach Watts, and led by Sergeant First Class John Sykes. The last element on line, dressed in the Continental Musician's uniform, is the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. During the American Revolution, musicians wore the reverse colors of their parent infantry unit. The men and women of the Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps maintained this tradition by wearing red coats instead of the infantry blue. The corps is led today by Drum Major William Parks. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into position is the Commander of Troops for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Todd Burroughs, Commander, 4th Battalion, 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. The history of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment reflects the growth and development of our nation. 55 well-earned battle streamers, 2 valorous unit awards, 3 meritorious unit commendations, and 5 superior unit awards attest to the Old Guard's record of bravery in action and achievements during peacetime. In 1922, the War Department granted permission for the Old Guard to pass in review with bayonets fixed. The Old Guard will now fix bayonets to the traditional beat of the drum.
Ladies and gentlemen, taking the reviewing stand is the reviewing official for today's ceremony. Lieutenant General Kenneth R. Dahl, Commanding General, Installation Management Command, accompanied by the host, General Mark A. Milley, 39th Chief of Staff of the Army. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as honors are rendered and remain standing for the invocation offered by Father John J. Mudd. powerful, ever-living God, in you we live and move and have our very being. Today we recognize and honor a man and woman who have served our country and served you faithfully and lovingly. We thank and praise you for the military careers of General Kenneth Dahl and Colonel Celia Flora Cruz. Recognizing that all good gifts come from you, Kenneth and Celia have taken and given their unique talents as officers in the United States Army. They have been your instruments of love and justice and peace. We are especially grateful for all those people, some here present and many not able to be here, who have helped to advance Ken and Celia's careers. We are ever mindful that we succeed in life only with the support of friends and family and colleagues. Bless them, Lord, with health and happiness in return for the generosity, the kindness, and the guidance they have afforded Ken and Celia. And Lord, as Ken and Celia retire now from military service, send your holy angels to guide and protect them in the days and the years ahead. Fill them with your spirit of wisdom and good judgment, courage and kindness and compassion. Strengthen them in faith, renew them in hope, and fill them with love as they continue to serve you in the civilian world. Bless all the men and women in the armed forces, especially those in harm's way. Watch over and protect our military as they keep watch over and protect our country. Bless our president and Congress and all who have the responsibility of government as they work for the common good and a just society and a peaceful world and God bless our country. We offer these prayers today to you, our loving God, and we ask your special blessing upon Ken and Celia and their family as they end one phase in their lives and begin anew. And all this in your holy and gracious name. Amen. Please be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors and remain standing for the playing of the United States National Anthem. Please be seated. The Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to Lieutenant General Kenneth R. Dahl, United States Army, for exceptionally meritorious service to the government and duties of great responsibility over 36 years of service, culminating as the Commanding General, United States Army Installation Management Command. Lieutenant General Dahl was instrumental throughout his tenure as Installation Management Command implemented several initiatives to assist the Army in buying back readiness in the operational force. His dynamic leadership, vision, and unparalleled competence enabled him to improve the effectiveness of programs and services across Installation Management Command's entire $9 billion portfolio. Examples include the reduction of personnel authorizations while supporting strategic growth and critical areas for the Army, the reorganization of command to better support Army commands, and leading the effort of an Army-wide process to prioritize over $4 billion in facility restoration and modernization funding that align to various mission command priorities. Lieutenant General Dahl's exemplary performance of duty, dedication to soldiers, civilians, and families, and other numerous contributions reflect credit upon him, the Installation Management Command, and the United States Army. Signed, Mark A. Milley, Chief of Staff of the Army.
Headquarters, Department of the Army, Special Order. By order of the Secretary of the Army, the following gen general officer is retired. Lieutenant General Kenneth R. Dahl. The Chief of Staff of the Army is presenting the United States flag to General Dahl for his faithful service to his country. On the occasion of retirement of this distinguished soldier, we also like to recognize the outstanding service of his wife, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Celia Floor Cruz. General Milley is presenting Lieutenant Colonel Retired Floor Cruz with the Department of the Army Certificate of Appreciation for her faithful and devoted service. It is dedicated support which made possible such a lasting contribution to our nation. Signed, General Mark A. Milley, Chief of Staff of the Army. General Milley is presenting Lieutenant General Dahl with a portrait of General of the Army, George Marshall, in appreciation for his commitment and service to the nation. We are proud to recognize General Dahl's devotion to our country, and we wish him happiness and prosperity in his well-earned retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the posting of the colors. Be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, General Milley.
So I want to uh, thank everyone here. And I know we got a hurricane boring in, and uh, there's a lot of work. You know, most of the Army staff is here, a lot of work to get done. Uh, so I promised the DAS, who was class of 86, uh, and I promised the first Captain McNicholson.